I already tried to film this video once, but I forgot to focus the camera and I looked like a giant flower. I am making this video because, you know, I think here in America we have a very serious problem that needs to be talked about and I don't see anybody talking about it. And this might be a problem in other countries too. I'm not really sure. I can't really speak for other countries because I've never been to malls in other countries. But I am making this video to help stand up for all mall customers across the whole world that have ever had an issue with this. And I am starting the movement. Hashtag. What was the hashtag again? I came up with something. Dang it. What was that that I thought of? What is the freaking hashtag? I tweeted about it. Oh. Hashtag stop mall kiosk workers 2016. I think we should make this a trending thing <laughs> because I think we have a very serious problem. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I had a pretty tragic incident happen to me and I gave part of the story on Twitter, but I did not give the full story. So today I'm giving you the full rundown of what happened to me at the mall the other day. <laughs> So let me preface by saying this is not my first time that I've had a terrible experience with the kiosk workers at the mall. This is like a regular occurrence for me, especially all the places that do hair products. And I don't know if it's just because I have like all this hair and my hair is just like super long, or if it's because my hair usually looks a wreck when I'm at the mall and they're trying to like help me out. I don't know, but they do not help me out. So the other day, it was like a Monday, I believe. I was at the post office and everything went crazy. I also tweeted about that if you want to know what happened there. But um, it was kind of just a crazy experience and it took forever and all this stuff. So I was like, you know what? I would really like some new black high-waisted jeans. So I'm going to go to the mall to go try and find some high-waisted jeans. I park outside the H&M. I did not find any high-waisted jeans that I liked there. So I just kept walking and came to the Forever 21, which is really close to the H&M conveniently. So I looked there for like a pretty long time because our Forever 21 is giant in Opera Mills Mall. So I spent quite a bit of time in there looking for high-waisted jeans. And I found some, but none that I like loved. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna like keep walking around and see what else I find. So I start to walk and as I am walking, I pass a kiosk. Well, actually I passed a lot of kiosks, but there was one specific one that I passed and I have learned my lesson the hard way because I have been in many instances where I got drawn in by the kiosk workers. I've learned that it's best to just keep walking. But I was walking by this kiosk worker and he's like, hey, and I'm like, okay, just keep walking, Megan. Like, don't even make eye contact. Don't worry about being rude. Just like, keep going. And he's like, excuse me, like, here's a free sample. And I'm like, okay, like, I'll take your free sample. So I take the free sample and then I try to keep walking. And he's like, wait, wait, you look so familiar to me. So of course, me being the bright person that I am, I'm like, what? He's like, we're, yeah, 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 were you here yesterday? And I was like, no, I wasn't here yesterday. He's like, no, no, I saw you here like last week or something. And I was like, um, no, I was not here. I haven't been here in like at least a month. Definitely wasn't me, probably somebody else. I gotta go. And he's like, no, 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 no. Like, I know it was you. He's like, what's your name? Like puts his hand out and I'm like, I'm, I'm Megan, nice to meet you. He told me his name, I can't really remember. And then he had an accent, so I like asked him where he was from. He was from Israel. And then by this point, I'm just sucked into the madness. And I know this whole little spiel of his about like you look familiar, I'm sure is part of his like scheme of how he draws people in because that is what drew me in. So at this point, I'm in like a full blown conversation with this person, like just being nice. If it was anyone else, I would have like had the exact same conversation with them just because. He said that I looked familiar. He thought he had seen me before. So I'm like, okay, like we'll figure out if we've seen each other before, if we like know each other or anything, but we didn't. So then he's like, come here, let me show you something. And I'm like, uh, no, thank you. Gotta go. And he's like, no, 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 just like one second. So I'm like, oh great. Like it's rude if I just like walk away. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I walk over and he's like, look at this hair straightener. And I'm like, awesome. And he's like, what hair straightener do you use right now? And I was like, uh, I don't ever use a hair straightener. Sometimes I curl my hair. Actually, quite frequently I curl my hair, but I never straighten it. He's like, oh, well, what kind of curling iron do you use? And I was like, um, probably the cheapest of 
the air conditioning just came on. Hopefully you can't hear that. You probably can. So if it's loud, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I've been trying forever to make this video, so I'm still going to make it. Anyways, he's like, what kind of curling iron do you use then? And I was like, uh, probably whatever the cheapest one was there. I don't really care that much. I just kind of like, you know, curl my hair, do my thing and go. And so he's like, well, let me just show you this. He's like, how much do you think this straightener is? And I was like, Honestly, I have no idea. I am the worst at like guessing things, like estimating numbers. Like if you ask me how many people were somewhere, I honestly will have no idea. So I was like, I don't know how much it is. He's like, well, it's $300. And I was like, awesome, $300 straightener and I never straighten my hair. And he was like, but let me tell you, today I can give it to you for like, I don't remember, some discounted price. So I was like, okay, well that's awesome, but like I'm probably not gonna buy the straightener, so sorry. And he's like, no, 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 come here. Well, before I can do anything, this random man at the kiosk is pulling my ponytail holder out of my hair. Now let me just explain to you what I looked like at this moment. I was in sweats, like all gross, whatever, but that part, you know, I didn't really care. Like, I didn't really have on makeup, but like, you know, no big deal. I'm just walking around the mall alone, like, who cares that I am in sweats and in no makeup. But what I did care about was my hair is greasy. Now, I am one of those people who, you know, I've read these articles that it's like, you shouldn't wash your hair every day, so I'm like, all right, I'm all for that. I'm not gonna wash my hair every day. But I kind of pushed the limit on that. Basically, just know that this day, I was probably a couple days past what the recommended days of going without washing your hair was. Um, just a few days <laughs> past it. <laughs> Anyways, my hair was nasty, that's all you need to know. So it's like gross, but it's in a ponytail, so no one can really tell like how gross it is. Until this guy, this random man at the kiosk, starts to take my ponytail holder out. So my hair is now like greasy, and it's just like got this giant like greasy bump in it because it like didn't even fall all the way down because it was just so <laughs> disgusting like it was so bad I wish I could describe to you how awful it was it was awful and my one saving grace was that I had this ponytail holder in my hair but he has now stolen that from me so now I'm just you know rocking the nasty greasy hair for the whole world to see like everyone walking down both sides so there were like tons of people around and they're probably all looking like uh, this girl has gotten herself into this mess and now she has all this greasy hair and it was just bad he pulls the ponytail holder out of my hair and I'm just like uh what are you doing and he's like let me just show you how well this works I'm like okay I'm looking down at my ponytail holder that he's taken out of my hair and I didn't realize until this moment but apparently it was a ponytail holder that I grabbed out of my old purse which I spilled lipstick in so this ponytail holder has like tons of hair just like wrapped around it and then it has like little red splotches everywhere from this lipstick that had gotten all over it so the ponytail holder looked disgusting so he like straightens a piece of hair and I'm like awesome this would be great if I ever straightened my hair like in his defense it was a great straightener worked so well made my hair super straight but I am NOT going to straighten my hair ever I literally have not straightened my hair since probably fifth grade it was just pointless there was no way that I was going to buy the straightener but he would not stop then he's like you know what else you can do he's like let me show you and he grabs my hand and makes me like do it but he was like moving my hand in the direction like it should go. So he does this like curl or whatever, not a bad curl, it was fine, but at the same time, I already own multiple curling irons. So why do I need this $300 straightener when I have like a million curling irons that work perfectly fine and make exactly the same curl that you just did in my hair? So he makes this curl this one curl in my hair keeps like you know playing with my hair and then he'll like go to his calculator and be like let me see what kind of discount I can get for you and like slowly and slowly the number is coming down of what he's gonna charge me so we get to the point where we are down to $89 for this straightener now if that is a good deal I have no idea I don't know I don't know I don't know how much the straightener was really worth he claims it was worth $300 I don't know if I believe that but at this point we were down to $89 and he's over there on his calculator and he's like punching in numbers of like what kind of discount I'm gonna get next and I'm looking at him 
and I'm looking at myself in the mirror looking a complete and total mess and it just clicked in my head that like Megan this is your one chance all the other times he's had his hands like in your hair doing stuff to your hair but now he's over at this calculator and you have one chance to run and if you're gonna run you need to do it now <laughs> so he had put this clip like weird clip thing in my hair for a while he was like messing with it he's over there punching numbers in his calculator and as he's looking down i yanked that clip out of my hair and i <laughs> threw it down at the kiosk and i took off and i ran as fast as i could maybe not as fast as i could that might be a little like overly exaggerated but i like took off i was like uh-uh no way i did not even have enough time to grab the nasty disgusting ponytail holder off of the counter i just took off once I'm gone, I'm like, yes, I am free. I am like in the clear. Praise the Lord. I am gone from this creepy man who would not let me leave the kiosk. And then I realize that there are two issues. The first issue is that I ran so fast, I did not have time to get my ponytail holder. So here I am with gross, nasty, disgusting, greasy hair <laughs> and no way to pull it up. And I had one curl. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw me post this picture of what I looked like running around the mall and uh, I'll show you that to you now. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> pretty bad. And also I took this picture on Snapchat and used the filter where it like basically airbrushes you and makes you look like 10 times better than you normally would in that same situation. So just imagine this photo, but like me being even 10 times worse than this photo shows. And if you could have seen the back of my head, it was like really, really gross looking. That was problem number one. Problem number two, was that, okay, so I was at Aubrey Mills Mall, and if you don't know what Aubrey Mills Mall is like, it is basically just one giant circle. So since I had parked at H&M, Forever 21 is pretty close next to H&M, and the kiosk was like right over here, right past Forever 21. So I went to Forever 21, went to the kiosk. When I ran, I ran this way. So, so that meant that instead of like being able to just go right here and right back to my car so that no one would see me with this nasty greasy head that I had, I now had to go all the way around the whole other part of the mall, the whole like giant circle that it is so that everyone could enjoy the view of me looking a wreck. <laughs> it was traumatizing, I must say. I might be being a little overly dramatic, but I don't think so. I'm never overly dramatic, obviously, so clearly not being overly dramatic right now. Anyways, that's my story of what happened to me. I thought it was pretty traumatizing, to say the least. If you have any stories about how kiosk workers have harassed you, I want to hear about them because I know that you all have stories because I cannot be the only one who is always harassed every time I go to a mall. I want to hear about your escape methods because mine obviously don't work very well, so I want to hear what yours are, if you have any good ideas for me next time I go to the mall so that I will more better so the next time when I go to the mall I will be able to survive instead of getting trapped in the madness that is a kiosk give me a thumbs up on this video if you've ever had a tragic experience with a kiosk worker before and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I make so many videos these days and you don't want to miss out so <laughs> please make sure you subscribe follow me on Twitter and make sure you tweet me with hashtag stop kiosk workers 2016 is that the hashtag? <laughs> Y'all have a great day. I will talk to you next time. Bye. Anyways, I'm just kidding. I'm sure most kiosk workers are great.